All right, welcome to my Chapter 4 Season 3 Battle Pass Reaction and Review. First of all, can we just admire how awesome this song is right here? Now, unfortunately, this is the, quote, secret song that only plays for Fortnite crew members during this screen right here. That's it. So there's no way to get this music pack, and it goes away after you click claim, which is unfortunate. So I've heard that this season and the battle pass are not good, but that's everyone's initial impressions. Yes, we already knew all eight skins, but we didn't know any of the emotes or pickaxes or backblings or anything like that. So I'm still hyped. I'm ready to check this out. Let's go ahead and claim this. Well, what the heck? It didn't even give me a pop-up or anything. It just, oh, hey, a gift from my good friend Wesley, 25553. The Optimus Primal skin. Look at this. This must be in the item shop right now because I know this is not a Battle Pass skin. Comes with the Maximal Emblem. It's pretty cool. It's not holographic. And the Sonic Swords. Wow. We'll check the item shop out. Thank you so much, Wesley. Ooh, new background. That's pretty sweet. So let's just look at the item shop real quick. There's that background for that as well. You can purchase the 25 levels. It does look like the supporter creator code reset. So be sure to check it. If you want to help support my daughter and my family, this is mine. Tabor Time, T-A-B-O-R-T-I-M-E. By the way, a lot of people have been asking about my daughter recently, and we just went to the children's hospital yesterday. Well, my wife and her did. I had to stay home and take care of the animals. So we got some decent news and then some not so decent news. She will have to have another surgery, but this is hopefully not an extensive one. But like I said, I'll do another update video on her soon. So here's the Optimus Primal Bundle. Pretty sweet. It looks like he does have a built-in emote go primal. Nice. Okay, I'll do a full gameplay and review on this set after this video. Stay tuned for that. Looks like the Woodsy bundle came back with Bush Ranger, the Fungus King bundle with Madcap, and the Bigfoot bundle. Wow. Very sneaky. I love that one. Good stuff. And then everything else looks to be the same. So here we go. It looks like Era is the tier one skin. We got a loading screen. We got a pretty solid loading screen right there. That's nicely drawn. I like that. The classic age animated wrap. Looks like a clock on the end of the weapon there. That's not too shabby. Her glider is the time sweeper. Wow, that is hypnotizing right there. Don't stare at that. It may make you buy V-Bucks or something. <laughs> we got the Seize the Future music pack. I think I read that this one is really good. Sounds like it has lyrics. Okay, pretty cool. I don't want to waste your time playing the whole thing. You can listen to that if you want. We got some V-Bucks right there. The Chronos Lock Back Bling. Ooh, that looks sweet. I wonder if that's a functioning clock. I don't think it is because that one hand is going way too quick. I'm sure it does something though. We got the Countdown. Contrail. Boy, she's all about the clocks, isn't she? More V-Bucks. Here she is herself, the era outfit. Yes, they took the hat away on this style. I love it. There's that clock again, which is also in motion. Very clean. Nice locker pose there. They got some really good locker poses now. So page two. Looks like we got Trace. That is a cool loading screen. I love the design on that. We got the menacing Trace. Spray. Nomad's Spear is his pickaxe. A gift from Storm and Desert, it says. Swing it. I love these kind of two-handed bow staff pickaxes. Very clean. We got the Get Out of Your Mind emote. It's kind of cool. I'm not sure about the water, though. Why is there water there? That's a fun dance, though. We got the Psionic Surfer. Ooh. That was cool. Let's see that again. It looked like a surfboard, and then BOOM! Big old part comes out of it. I'd have to see that in-game. The Flutterfall Contrail. Okay. What are those butterflies there? Yeah, they are. Here's Trace himself. Ah, the blue liquid is in there. Oh, so maybe it's just some kind of souped-up water. That makes sense for his emote. Look at that animation on his arms. The tattoos turn that blue color. That is solid. Very impressed with that skin. Here's the Rebel Trace loading screen. Looks like he's surfing up there. The banner icon, okay. V-Bucks. We got the Beacon Glass. Let's see, I wonder if those turn blue at some point. 
Not sure. The Contour Camo Reactive. Let's see what that does. Mega's trying to join my party in the middle of the item shop review. We can't trigger the weapon here? Where's the trigger button? Come on! It won't let me see the reactivity. That's weird. Thinking Trace. Non-animated. Then we got the Rebel Trace. Ooh, his stuff turns green. Oh, wow. Okay, I like the blue, but the green is solid too. And he's got a hood up. Holy smokes, this might be one of my favorite skins in the Battle Pass so far. Of course, we've only seen one other skin, but this is clean. That's amazing. Then we got Rianne. Another great loading screen there. What else we got? The Jolt Jam animated emoticon. Okay, more V-Bucks. We got the Molten Max Axe. That's a mouthful, but that is a sweet orange. Look at that. Oh my. I've been waiting for a good orange colored pickaxe for a while. That is perfect. The electric shredder. Look at that, an orange back bling as well. An orange guitar. Then we got the Rian's Roar, which is also reactive, which I can't trigger here. I like that though. Oh man, I hope it turns orange, but I doubt it. Looks like red and black and gray. Here's Rian herself. Oh my, look at her hair highlights. I knew I liked this skin. Good stuff right there. So far, I'm impressed with these skins. Now we got the green version, the Rock Slide Rian. And of course, the Molten Max X turns green. Greenish yellow, I should say. This reminds me of Sid from Toy Story. And we got Buzzsaw Breacher, ooh. I hope that has a red color scheme as well, but that looks amazing. Looks like a surfing glider. Venom Riff, okay. This is fine. Holy meme. That is awesome. It's like a cell shaded anime effect too. Sitting in the middle of the fire. Sirens blaring, this is fine. Everything is perfectly all right, that's good. Here's the green version of Rianne. Not bad, this is a nice original Battle Pass skin. And then she also has the Rock Slide Rian. Nice. Moving on, we got Relic. So this is the skin everyone thought would be the secret Battle Pass skin. He is page six, in fact. He's got an animated blow your top emoticon. Hey, volcano exploding. Nice, Rockfall, he's all about fire apparently. That's a molten econ trail for sure, 100 V-Bucks. Lithic. Ooh, that's clean too, look at that. Very slightly animated. We got the Signal Tracer. Huh, a true hunter is never lost. Now that's gotta do something, right? That's a cool shield though. We're gonna have to take a look at that. Relic, himself. Wow, I didn't think we'd get an unmasked version. A lot of people were saying this is the foundation skin. Not true, apparently. Deep Walker Relic, ooh. No secret will elude me, no enemy will outwit me. I wonder if he's a bad guy. There's the banner icon. We got the Hunter's Reach. Another bow staff pickaxe. Look at that splash effect. That's phenomenal. Here's the Relic Beckons. Okay, we got another 100 V-Bucks. We got the Sky Scout. Wow, a lot happening there. What is that? Some kind of mechanical animal? Here's the Deep Walker Relic. That's completely different than what we've seen for Relic, so very impressive. Not bad. Moving on to Mariposa, which means butterfly in Spanish. This is a Dynamo reskin. Beating up her brother? Husband? Friend? Colleague? I don't know. Here's the Astrarita Dynamo animated. Cool. We got the Cazadora wings. Ugh, I don't like wings. But I like that color, that purple is brilliant. Got some smoky effect on there as well. They're not too big, so that's not bad. Another banner. We got the Cazadora. Okay, well that was cool. So that's, wow, that's pretty good. I was trying to figure out if that's her back bling that turns into that, but. Okay, that, I like it. I really like that. Makes a cool noise too. We got another 100 V-Bucks. Here's Mariposa herself. She's got that wrestling stance. Okay, well, it didn't translate as well as I had hoped in game, but let's hope her other style is pretty good too. We'll take a look. Speaking of which, we got the Midnight Mariposa. There's no better rush than the audience cheering my name. She likes the thrill of the fight, apparently. The Lucha Libre, nice, 100 V-Bucks. The Lucha Slashers, oh no. So if you've seen some of my previous videos, I'm not a fan of these handheld pickaxes like these. 
Looks like it's got a pretty cool contrail though. Splash is just all right. Here's count it. No way. We pin. One, two, three. Ding, 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 ding. Oh yeah, let's go. It's a huge WWF and WWE and WCW and all that. I love this. Dude, that is awesome. Now we need some kind of wrestling emote. Someone could be the ref, someone could be the wrestlers. They ring the bell and everything. We got 100 V-Bucks. Here's the Midnight Mariposa. Okay, that's interesting. Almost like a glow-in-the-dark one. I wonder if it will glow. Then we got Lorenzo. They say I'll find danger in these old ruins. Sounds fun. The Bushwhacked, which is animated. A lot of animated emoticons. Then we got a Music Pack Adventure Calls. I'll play it for a second. Okay, I feel like we've heard that one before. It sounds familiar. Good though, 100 V-Bucks. Then we got the Northquester Deluxe. So this one appears to be reactive. I mean, it doesn't say, but as I move, you can see it turns in the actual direction. Nice little compass back bling. We got Marauder's Machete. Okay. That's his pickaxe that we saw in one of the teasers for him. Not bad. Here's Lorenzo himself, an influential explorer. Okay, he's pretty bland in this one. Let's see what else we got. Lorenzo the dashing, the drone drop. Little birdie drone is following him there. The adventurer aerial. Ooh, the compass, I bet that's reactive too, yeah. Look, it shows where you're going. Boy, there are some cool accessories in this battle pass. Very impressed. We got Lorenzo explorers spray, okay. 100 V-Bucks. We got the dramatic flares, I saw this in the trailer. Meowsles was doing it. Come on, gimme, gimme. Then the flares fade out. That could be a Jurassic Park, or rather Jurassic World reference. Remember she does that to the T-Rex to get its attention, but it's also just flares and you're trying to signal somebody, I don't know. Lorenzo the Dashing, look at that. Nice, that one's much better than the other skin. Love that hint of orange in there. Good stuff, we got Iconic Era. So another version of Era. So she went from tier one all the way to page 12. Got another banner icon, the Iconic Age. Another rendition of her rap. Have we ever had two raps for the same skin in the Battle Pass? I don't know. Time Swirl. We got the Synchronous Psy. Wow, those are some big size. Raphael, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, eat your heart out. Those are size right there. 100 V-Bucks, here's the Ancestral Shift. Oh, no way. Wow. Okay. So this skin, 10 times better than her original form. I was going to say I didn't really like the cape or whatever that aspect is, but it transforms into a nice skirt. Let's see that again. That was amazing. So there's that cape thing I'm talking about. Look at that. That is one of the coolest emotes to transform I've seen. Let's go. Have I mentioned I'm impressed yet? I am thoroughly impressed. That is beautiful. Good stuff all around. Here's the Timeless Era loading screen. She's got another page all to herself. Chrono's Lock, another rendition of her back bling. Same thing for the synchronous size. They're green this time. Time Sweeper also has a green one. I thought it was green to begin with though. Maybe it was blue. My memory has already failed me and it's only been a few minutes. 100 V-Bucks, here's the Kung Lao hat version of her. Another different color scheme as well. Let's see, it says it has two styles. Let's let it rotate. Maybe? Oh, maybe not. It says one of two. Let's try again. No? Okay. Apparently there's another style. I don't know why it's not rotating, but... Alright, then we got the last page. Tier 100. Optimus Prime, protect others no matter the cost. Autobot Emblem, of course he's part of the good guys, the Autobots, not the Decepticons. G1 Optimus Prime, we got the Rollout Animated Emoticon. The Cybertronian Axe. Okay, that looks like it'll have the Thor hammer animation. Yes, it does. No, actually it doesn't. She's not throwing it from hand to hand. Okay, 100 V-Bucks. Here he is, plus his legendary emote. Okay, so he fires up his hand cannon. Oh man, he doesn't transform though. 
Talk about a missed opportunity. They could have at least transformed him into the truck. Oh, wow. Well, he looks good. Minus the lack of transformation. That's a bummer. Still, a highly coveted collaboration that a lot of people wanted. Good battle pass. I am impressed. For knowing all the skins, I think it was amazing. The accessories, top notch. The styles, amazing. I've seen a lot of people say this battle pass is garbage, but what were they thinking? This is amazing. I think this is better than last season's battle pass. So we got bonus rewards and quest rewards. Now I heard this time you don't have to have the battle pass to get these quest rewards. We'll see. We got Mariposa's pickaxes again. We got Call of the Wilds. That's the loading screen everyone's seen already. We got another version of Sky Scout. Oh, look at that orange and the afterburner orange effect. Oh my, I love that. The Beacon Glass, a blue version. Here's another Dynamo Mariposa. I feel like Mariposa may be my least favorite. And that's a little disappointing because I was hyped for this skin. It looked really clean in the teasers, but I just can't see myself running some of these skins on her. Here's the Autobot Signal Flare. That's a contrail for Optimus Prime, obviously. The Signal Tracer, another version of that. Yes, the Buzzsaw Breacher in a nice orange and yellow. Brilliant. Marauder's Machete, another version. Here's Lorenzo the Reckless in a purple popped collar. You can see the beads inside his cape, just like Renzo had from last season. Not sure about the collar, though. Kind of wishing you could pop that down. We'll see how that looks in game. The Electric Shredder, a green version. We got Nomad's Carvers. Wait a minute, whose were those? That must be for Trace, right? Even though he had that pole for the pickaxe. Psionic Surfer, another style. That's better. Nice green and gold. We got the Rosa Libre. That's for Dynamo, a.k.a. Mariposa. Hey, another Optimus Prime, the Battle Tested. Looks like he's all worn out on that one. And that's the max one. Okay, and then we, of course we got the super levels, which you can't see yet. Now the quest rewards. Let's see. Prime Meridian. Okay. We got Nomad's Spear. That's pretty cool. Another version. Oh, banner icon. We got the Cazadora Wings. Blue version this time. They were purple last time. Here's the Luminary Trace. That looks really sick. I think Trace is definitely the underrated Battle Pass winner here. I saw the teaser of him, I wasn't expecting much, but I am blown away by all his styles so far. That red hair is amazing. Love it. We got the Adventure Aerial, another less colorful one this time. Battle Ready Era. We got the Northwester Deluxe, another compass that's actually a compass. We got the Dune Scooper. This goes with Meowsles to pick up his poop. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that's a pooper scooper. <laughs> and then the ro and then the wild guard relic. That's pretty cool. He's got some molten lava there. What else we got? Hunter's Reach, another pole pickaxe. We got the animated ticking clock. Captain Hook would like that. The Calico Conut. That's funny. Calico cats and coconut mixed together. We're getting close to Meowsels. I can feel it. Casadora, another style. Not as good as the original, I think. Stonewash Rianne. And once again, I don't think this one is as good as the other styles. Then we got Beach Breezer, probably from Yousels as well. The Nomad's Carvers, another version. Fang Dance, flow like the serpent. Whose are those? I don't know. I'll have to see what set this goes in. That's pretty cool though. It looks like a Mortal Kombat emote. Timeless Age, animated, another version of that. Here's a formidable Meowsels. Yeah, flex those muscles. I get 80s vibes from this guy. Look at that mullet. Holy smokes. Wowzer. That's the last one, too. Page four. All right, let's go see Paradise Meowsels. So you got a nice loading screen. Look at his face. I love the drawing on that. Here's the Calico Conut again. Different version. The Calico Holiday. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Paradise vibes. We'll listen a second. Some meow meows in there. Self-reflexing. Oh, there's actually a mirror there. Can you really see yourself? Striking a pose. 
Not bad. And here's the Paradise Meowsles with that corny vacation shirt. Yeah, not really feeling the Meowsle skin. Moving on, he's got another page though. Another cool loading screen. Banner icon. We got the Beach Breezer. Yeah, not a fan of that one either. Paradise pattern. Ugh. Another pooper scooper. Nice pink color scheme. Here's the Clawsome Meowsles. So I don't know if he has a built-in emote. I thought every Meowsles did, but I'm not seeing it if he does. What a phenomenal battle pass. I'm not a fan of Meowsles and surprisingly the Mariposa. But every other skin just knocked it out of the park. I was not expecting so many Era skins. She took over multiple pages of the battle pass, but well worth it. A great skin. Little disappointed that Optimus Prime doesn't have a transformation emote into a vehicle, but he does have a built-in emote, just doesn't transform. Everything else though, absolutely amazing. I rank this at least an 8.5 or a 9 out of 10. Very good battle pass. We'll see if these quest rewards actually give them to you if you don't have the battle pass. Someone without the pass will have to confirm it or I'll check on my son's name. There you go. That's all there is to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A like is always appreciated. And don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which is TaperTime.